Welcome viewers. Welcome back to Nan Gang Shang Boom Boom. Alright. Non Gang Shang. Exactly. Anyways, this is second cast of Final Journey 2023 here. And uh let's see. Welcome back to Corpse Party Season 2. This is episode 6. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. I know I will. Um, if you don't remember what happened last episode in season two, go check that out. It's, eh, um, yeah, it was a ride, a big ride, ghost childs everywhere, possession over the human mind and body. Yeah, that was creepy. Anyways, um... Let's get straight into it, shall we? You already know the four options, so like, comment, subscribe, hit bell notifications to notify for more content on the channel. And that being said, let's get back into Season 2 of Corpse Party. But actually, I just forgot something, and it just came to me. So before we do, there was that lever puzzle that I didn't know what to do. I had to pull the lever twice in the, um... In the classroom where we left the note for Miss Yui. May she rest in peace. Um, and when I went to go pull it twice. The bridge was fully built for me to pull the other, the other lever. And that made a pathway to some stairs. So hopefully that called all of you up. Um, it was a confusing puzzle. This anime's puzzle is... <laughs> it's... <laughs> confusing. Alright, so... That being said, let's get straight into Corpse Party Season 2. This is, in general, Episode 6. So let us enjoy this together, viewers. Big Gang Shang Boom Boom! No! Oh, God. And now we're back with Corpse Party. We're going to hit resume here. And there you can see I actually have um, Season 2 up and ready to go. So let's get into it, shall we? First I gotta fix something, so hold on. Let the boys be boys! There we go. That should be good. So yeah, like I was saying, viewers, um... I had to... make some... a, a pathway... for where I was going. And may I mention that we need to turn up the volume? Wait, what's it sound like? Or maybe not. Yeah, he doesn't make noises when he's walking, but we're going to turn up the volume anyway. You're going to see my hand this time, viewers. The volume must be turned up. Oh. 22. Okay, so now we have to go up these stairs. Ah, the music is so delighting. What the? What's wrong? You need to stop for a minute. Look at a Yumi over in the corner. It's <laughs> so funny. No. I just thought this seemed like a good spot for another candle. No objections, I assume. Go ahead. She didn't say anything after that. Alright, so it's tempting me to save... Nani? Sounds good to me. Alright, this area is entirely new. Let's go over here. Nothing. What's in here? Oh. What is this? Oh, this is the, uh... Oh, no. From episode three, remember, guys? The alcohol isn't in here. This is the infirmary. Oh, my. Oh. Oh, oh my. My goodness. I'm not going in there. Mm-mm. 
you can't make me. You can't make me go back into that demonic place. Uh, the science lab door is closed. You can't go in there. Literally, it's tempting you not to go in there. Let us find the girl's bathroom. Uh, okay, well, that works, I guess. Let us go across this bridge. Oh. More place. I get goosebumps. Stop it. We're just beginning the episode. Kizami. Did you hear a voice just now? I hate this. Yeah, I heard it. I wonder what happened to him. I get the feeling he was surprised. I think he died quickly and suddenly. You think? Dude, Ayumi, you are possessed by a spirit. You looked into the ghost child's eyes, remember? Sorry, I don't like the music it's doing. You can't read the paper. You can't read this one. Labs, boys, girls, let's keep our restrooms clean. Uh, okay. Boys' bathroom is this way. Guessing this is where we have to go. What the? What's this? What's what? Hmm? Seems stained, but with what? Almost like a person. Somebody, somebody died here. I can hear, I can hear her voice. No, no, please, don't. What's wrong? Ayumi, calm the hell down. Ah. Whoa. That's what I'm saying, Yoshizaki. What the hell is the matter with her? Ever since you looked into the ghost child's eyes, you have been acting suddenly weird. But I think I know who you think it is. Yeah. She committed suicide, Ayumi. You scared? You gonna cry? Sayako! Oh, it's Sayako! Oh my god, it's Sayako! We found her dead body! Uh, well, come! Shinozaki! Damn it! Oh, what the hell is going on around here? Don't go in your... I wanted to explore the dead body. There she is, but something is telling me that she has gone nuts though. Are you alright, Shinozaki? She's crying. Oh. This again, huh? Bring me more! You'll do whatever I ask of you! You've gone insane. I don't care if you're innocent. You're listed as buried alive, aren't you? They're mine. I'm sure as hell not sharing with the likes of you. I hate when she goes crazy. Cleanup is a real pain in the ass, you too. You know, have some pity. What's that? Oh, uh, yeah, she's not even aware that she's possessed. You found a Yumi, and now you're acting crazy. Yeah, I'm speechless from that. I, I'm right there with you, buddy. Fight as soon as I cut the crap. Fight it! Doesn't anybody listen to me? What the hell are you talking about? Exactly, believe in you. You're just a little girl, but you've been possessed by this demon inside of you. 
I don't understand a single word you're saying. <laughs> She's gone completely yonder, eh? Just keep walking. Leave her alone. God damn it. What the? Temporarily safe. Is she still back here? Oh, she's, uh, she's insane. That poor girl, she's lost her mind, and she'll never get it back. Possession is a frightful thing to have your thoughts push deep down into the pit of your soul, and someone else take their place. I knew she was possessed. This is just no. And she's staying over there. I, I want nothing to do with you. Go away. I shouldn't just walk away from her like this. What? But man, I'm really scared of her right now. Yeah, she's crazy. I wonder what did this to her. It was obviously the ghost child. Uh, gym teacher? Crap. What's all this smoke I see? Get the hell out of that stall right now, this instant. Okay. Hitting the tobacco again, were we? Uh, well, no, sir. Didn't I warn you what would happen if I caught you smoking again? That's what. I'm sorry. You're a real problem, child. You know that. Why do you even come to school in the first place? <laughs> Disowned by your parents, living on your own, got no friends, never go to class. Just because you hate school doesn't give you the right to throw fights and raise a ruckus all the time, mister. You're clearly not having any fun here, right? So why don't you just drop out? I really don't get it. It's not like you're trying to get into college with your home life as it is. The thought probably hasn't ever crossed your mind. Man, this gym teacher is a pain. Uh-huh. This is clearly past event stuff. Wish I could ask your parents why they think of having a no-good kid like you in the family, but they're never once shown their faces around here. Not since the very first parent-teacher conferences we ever held. Wonder if they'd be embarrassed. <laughs> My parents are not exactly proud of me, shall we say. Eh, that's not what I mean. I'm thinking of the big picture here. They're clearly just not good parents. If I had kids of my own, you'd better believe I wouldn't be half as lax with them as yours, obviously, are, w are with you. The problem is, people ha are having kids when they're way too young. Before they become proper adults, they're crapping out like babies of their own. And bad parents raise bad kids. That's the why there are so many brats like you in this world. He's right about one thing. There's no reason for me to stay in this school. It really is pointless. I should just beat the crap out of this jackass, then drop out. People think as long as they pay school taxes or tradition, their good memories and uh, their good mommies and daddies. Well, newsflash, they're not. Ha 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 ha. Hmm, what's with that look? I never hit a teacher before. Eh, well, first time for anything. What? Mr. I can't say your name. This is what you get. Huh? Well, if it isn't the class rep, what's up? The vice principal is looking for you. You're needed back at the staff room. Wait, Ayumi was a class rep? 
Gotcha, thanks. Hmm, Shinazaki, you've got great eyes, you know that? Ew! Always so clear and focused. We instructors like your ki kind best of all. You ever have a problem, you come talk to me about it. Yeah, okay, will do. I don't know what that notification just was. <laughs> Sorry about that. That guy's the worst. Thanks. They're not really any better. Huh? You were thinking about hitting him just now, weren't you? What a sad fate it would be to get kicked out of school over a pathetic excuse for a teacher like him. And you regret it later. You know you would. No matter how much of a pain in the ass it may be, and no matter how you think, it'll turn out in the end. Just stay in school, man. Bite your tongue and make it to graduation. Honestly. Why are you crying? Sorry, whenever I give an, a speech like that, I always find myself tearing up a little. You're Kashima from class 1-5, right? Yeah. I'm Shinozaki from class 1-3. Sorry to have butt in like that. Uh, don't worry about it. Later. Hey, when you told him the vice principal was calling, <laughs> I was lying, of course. Oh, she saved him. Okay. Past event stuff. Back to present. I never actually thanked her for what she did that day for crying on my behalf. And I swore to myself as soon as I realized we were trapped here. That I'd protect her no matter what happens. This must be a test to see if I really meant that no matter what happens partly. Why the hell are you doing this? Answer me! Shinozaki? Ugh! You've got to be kidding me! <coughs> My god! Are you okay? Clearly not. Oh! Oh my god. Are you... What the... He's just bleeding in the corner. Leave him alone. You're clearly evil. In addition to multiple broken bones all throughout his head and neck, Yoshizaki's rib cage shattered on impact and pierced his lungs. As he... Uh, Weathered in ever-growing puddle of his own blood and internal fluids, his vision hastily grew dark. The last thing he saw was a figure with wide, empty eyes and an unnatural smile stretched across the length of its face, rocking slowly back and forth in administration of its hard handiwork. Ayumi was clearly very pleased with herself. Really? <laughs> uh... Well, you're just straight up evil. Oh, what? Hold on. It almost feels like there's someone here. It's really giving me the creeps. Huh. What the hell? The stall is pitch black inside. Yeah, I wouldn't go in there. I 
Okay. Shinozaki. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Oh, so this is what you had to do. Okay. Yeah, we'll call that a death cycle that he uh, went through. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Why is this happening to us? Why indeed? Oh, the gym teacher. We can skip past all this because we already read all this. In the death cycle, basically. Okay. So that's what you're supposed to do? I never actually thanked her for what she did that day for crying on my behalf. And I swore to myself as soon as I realized we were trapped here that I'd protect her no matter what happens. And I'm gonna make up a line here. But I swear I already said this. Hey. This must be a test to see if I really meant that no matter what happens part. Not again! Why the hell are you doing this? Answer me! I'll, I'll answer you. Shinozaki. I'm sorry. Please, come back to me, Shinozaki. We're going to find all our classmates and get out of this horrible place, okay? There's no reason, no reason for you to stay like this. Uh, she's making weird noises. So, warm. What? Hey, why? Kimonu, where? What? Shinozaki, you're... Uh, uh, ow! Is it you? Are you back? Huh? What do you... Huh? So, what you're saying... Yeah, so far, all the corpses we've found in here have been people we've n never met before. But the stain was left behind by someone really close to us. Someone whose mind was completely filled with the pain and agony of death. And the next thing I knew... I was in your arms, and you were squeezing the life out of me. Couldn't she just say that? It was hugging? Someone close to us, huh? I really hope that just this once. Your intuition is wrong. But I could feel all her pain. I was freezing cold, except my throat was so hot. It felt like it was on fire. And then, I voided my bows, and everything went dark. No matter how hard I struggle, my arms and my legs just won't move. I want to yell out, help me, but I had no voice. I was scared, and the pain was so exhausting. She was... Calm down, Shinozaki. That wasn't you. You're still alive. I know. Huh. Well, we've searched the whole building. Miss Yui really is nowhere to be found. Maybe we should head back to the classroom. Yeah, that's probably for the best. Satoshi or the others, though, either haven't been found. So now we gotta head back to the classroom. I know where that is. Do, 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 do. I swear to God, it was like a death cycle. I remember falling down the stairs, but nothing was... I'm so confused. Okay. Da, 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 da. I hate this music, dude. It's like creepy at the same time, but still. A chair? What the? I don't even want to look at the chairs. They're so weird. 
Ow, I hit my head. Whoa. Ah, hi. Hello. What? Oh crap, you guys can't see this, hold on. Oh, I'm pretty sure it'll go ahead and go over there. That's right, it's the same for me. I love school. Yep, here we are. Get away! You need to run quickly! In my homeroom, teach was the best. But I guess you feel the same way about yours too, huh? Can we just leave her to die, please? Suzumoto, hey, snap out of it! It's us, okay? Wait, no, Mayu is the, uh, younger sister of Satoshi, right? Can you stand? Come on, we're right here. No, I'm okay. Believe it or not, these really aren't bad kids. Huh? They've just uh, been through some horrible experiences. Here, read this and you'll see what I mean. What? What are you talking- Heavenly Post, Four Children Abduction, Follow-Up Report. The brutal shock and deaths of the recent kidnapped school graders have now been tracked back to the hands of the instructor found in the room with them. The scissors he held are confirmed to be used to cut out the victim's tongues, ugh, ultimately leading to their death through expenses of bleeding or choking. One of the victims even had the major of her head slowly removed. This is criminal mass was found on the floor next to her body. The Heavenly Host Elementary School students picture. Here are the four who were found in the basement. Of these children, one was... Oh, it's all blank and then it says, When investigated arrived at the scene of the crime, she was... And then it's all blanked out again. And it just says blood. These new papers are torn. At this point, the bottom half of the article is missing. That's awful. These ghosts have the same faces and uniforms as the children in these photographs. The ghost that was chasing us on the first floor earlier is one of them too. I can't just ignore these poor souls. I'm going to stay with them. You do that. I don't think that's a good idea. You really need to get out of this room. Yeah, we've been through death cycles. You have to stop this. Don't let your emotions get the better of you. Oh my god! No, stop! Hey, what's going on? She's floating in the air. She knows Zaki! Damn it. What the hell did they do? Right. I'm leaving. Bye. Bye. I'm so cold. I feel like I'm freezing. We can't even touch her. Much less get her down. So what the hell do we do? I don't know, but we have to do something, we have to. Yeah, good luck with it. Whoa, your nose is bleeding. What? Don't tell me that. Jeez, and you're so blunt about it too. Um, uh, would you prefer I didn't say anything and just let it drip? Hello. Oh, who's there? Ugh. She's got eyes like a dead fish. Wow. 
You only just arrived at this school, have you not? That's right. Were you brought here against your will, too? I can't say I recognize your uniform. Actually, I died here quite a while ago. I came in search of someone very important to me, you see. Um, your name wouldn't happen to be Nalaho, would it? It is. Who's that? Huh, <laughs> Faded Star, the high school per- oh no. <laughs> high school panels Nalaho. I can't say your last name. I think she was on TV receiving some kind of award last year. She's an author, right? Yeah, she's also pretty well known for communicating with spirits and has a popular homepage with lots of information on paranormal studies and economists. I'm a big fan of yours, Miss Sinialola. I'm on your website all the time. That's very flattering, though I'm afraid you won't be seeing any more updates from me. Your last post was about the spiritual ever after charm. I've been wondering what happened to you since then. She just said she was dead. I never imagined it was anything like this, though. Hey, sorry to interrupt. But did you say you came here in search of someone? Yes. So you came here of your own volition of on propose there's a way to do that? That's not something I can talk about, I'm sorry. What? The greater concern right now is your friend. That's right. Do you have any idea what we can do to save her? Before I died here, I searched high and low for any means of escape. In the process, I learned that these closed spaces were given the form of Heavenly Host Elementary School, though the sorrow and agony of its victims. Victims of an innocent that occurred 13 years before our time. Four children kidnapped with broken bodies later found in this very building. The four kids picture in the newspaper article. It sure seems like it. Unfortunately, this place took its toll on me. And I died before I was able to make my escape. But the key seems to lie with those children. If they can be put to rest, there just might be a way out of here. Without all that sorrow and agony to sustain them, these closed spaces would start to break down. All this pointless suffering would come to an end and we'd be released from this hell. That's my theory, anyway. Yeah, but put them to rest, how the hell do we do that? Give them closure, of course. What they lack is any remorse or regret from the one who killed them. The one who killed them? Are you saying... The murderer is here in this school, yes. Seriously? How are we supposed to get someone like that to express remorse? Where would we even begin? You need to do whatever you can to and do it quickly. If you don't, those spirits are going to hurt your friend. We will. We'll think of something. I guess the first order of business is actually finding the killer. Hey, Shinozaki, hold up! I don't know much about you as an author or a paranormal researcher, but I'm going to take you on your word anyway. Right now, I'm just grateful for any lead at all, so thanks. There she is. Temp that save.
Hey, uh, Yumi, are you alright? Hey, that's what I just said. Yeah, I'm okay. I thought I was going to throw up, but I didn't. She's actually normally, but I don't know. I think she's starting to snap under the pressure. She needs to get out of this school, or she could be in real trouble. Damn it. Why is there no exit? Right. That? Yeah, I don't know what to say about that. Alright, continuing. But, excuse me. I don't know. I hate the ghost child. I hate him. Can we just... What the? Damn it. I knew it. I knew it couldn't be this easy. Why won't you open? Let us out, you worthless piece of... God, you're annoying. Just shut up. Huh? Even if it did open, I'd be staying right where I am. You think I'm just going to abandon Miss Yui and all our friends and run away? What's your problem? I never said that. Wuss, coward, delinquent. Now, how about you shut the hell up? Come on, let's just go. Wish I were with Mochi instead of you. Wow. She's so mean. Why is she so mean to me? Right, as originally planned, I'm going to that classroom where we were before. Which was this way, I do believe. Yeah, here's the candle. So now we have to find the killer that's in this school. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good without finding the killer. Thank you. There seems to be uh, no way out of this damn school, so... I guess we can go over here, right? Wait, there's a what? There's a severed head of an old-fashioned festival doll lying on the ground here. Pick it up? Yeah. What the heck? Thoughts being to echo in your mind seemingly from the doll somehow or another. It's found a way to communicate its soul desire. What the? I hear a voice. Return my body! Fired antique doll head, what? <laughs> Use your head, find the, the old antique doll, Jesus. I don't... Okay, that's that, that, I said stop going into it. Ugh. Nasty, nasty little creatures. Well, that's nice to know. So we have to 
find uh, the killer now. I'm not down with this. Not one single bit. Mm -mm. No, I'm not down with this at all. Doors all closed up. And I hate how the music stops, too. But, sadly enough, that's all the time I have for this episode. Uh, so if you guys liked it, uh, make sure to comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification to notify for more content on the channel, and leave a like if you did. And with that being said, this has been Saki Nakaito, Stuff of Finland 2 Anime 2023 here. And I will see all of you in the next one. Peace out, viewers. Bye-bye. Next video and next episode.